Hi guys, my name is Fraser. I'm the one who took the call from the customer. They called after hours saying that they were stalling their electric motor every single time they tried to run this pump. It was very strange. I knew it had something to do with the settings, but then they said to me, and it's making a funny noise. Once they said it was making a funny noise, I said, send it in and let's take a look to see what we can find. This is a PVP 16. This one here, it stalled out the electric motor. So we're just opening up to see if there's anything mechanically binding. I'm just gonna need a new gasket. Oh yeah. Does that happen for a reason? Uh, it means it was sealing really well. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's not a bad thing. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any scratches or any obvious issues right there. No damage to any of the pistons. No. I'm checking for pull off. There's nothing wrong. Checking the edge for belling. Nothing wrong at all. Normally if it's gonna to happen to one, it'll happen to multiple. Yep. So now, I'll check to make sure that it's actually stroking properly. Yep, it's getting its full stroke. It went down to being flat. Shaft turns nice. The shaft is supposed to spin freely? Yeah, it's not loose. It spins nice and free with the appropriate amount of drag considering that it is in a bearing and yep. it, there's a seal on it. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with the, motor, the uh, pump itself. Um, we'll still have to put it on the test bench once it's assembled and check. And that's the only way to really check the comp. I kind of take it apart real quick just to see, make sure there's nothing wrong with that. But that really wouldn't be an issue for causing the electric motor to stall. Mechanically, Testable. mechanically everything looks good. Yeah, it looks like a new pump should. I'll be getting a new gasket for it. I'll be getting another new gasket when I remove the pump. Yep. Um, yeah, everything will be inspected a little more thoroughly with a flashlight. And then uh, it'll start reassembling it. I'm actually thinking it is the pump. You think? Yeah. That pin is out. That should be hit flush and they didn't put it in enough. How a a would you put that in? Like pushing you, you it? You just hit it with a hammer. Oh, okay. To set it, because that actually forces its way between the threads. It causes it so they won't want to turn their binding on the threads now. And that is, okay, that is turning the whole adjustment. Yeah, okay. So it is grabbing that way, but it should have been pounded in more to begin with. Okay, until testing. <laughs> so a few reasons why the electric motor might stall is the electric motor could be uh, worn out. Uh, it could be, have bad bearings on there. The pump uh, could be seized. Uh, let's say they forgot to fill the case up with oil. Or they're just asking too much from the electric motor. The draw, so the amperage draw or the torque from it, is the combination of the pressure and the flow. So if you have too much of those two items there, pressure and flow, then you could be stalling your electric motor. I'm already at 1900 PSI. It's supposed to be at a maximum of 1000. Yeah. So I'll just, I'm just going to go up and see exactly where is it. it the pump is good for 3600. It's uh, compensating at about 2800 PSI right now. So it's working then? It's working. Oh. But it's way higher than it should be. Okay. There's three things that are being set on this. And most pumps only have two. But this one has a third one. You have the Pmax, also called the pressure compensation or pressure override. Those all mean the same thing. Pressure override is typically used in closed loop pumps. Once it hits a max pressure, then decrease flow. So in this case, they say that the max pressure was set to 2,800 PSI, and it, it will open as it approaches it, maybe at 
2700 psi and the pump will decrease its flow if the pressure hits there it, and it will decrease it can decrease its flow to zero and that's called compensating there's another one there's a max volume you can see it on this pvp 16 it's in the screw on the back end of the cover there you can see it on the test stand it's a screw with a a locking nut on it it will turn a 16 cc pump into maybe 14 12 or 10. there is a limit to how much smaller it can go but it, it depends on on which pump that you have so this one turns it into let's say a, well, we'll go 12 cc and then there's one final one that's really annoying and it's only on these pvps it's the pressure range and what this says is what is this pump capable of being set to so the pressure range of 200 to 3600 psi this says that you were able to change this from 28 to anywhere between 200 and 30 to 3600 and they have different options the pvp 1610 is supposed to say that this range is only goes up to a thousand psi so this pump is technically not supposed to go to be set to 2800 but we always disable this it causes nothing but problems we want this on the full range so that they don't have any issues this is set by using a on the pvp that small flat piece of steel that they were saying talking about hammering it in that's what sets this range it does not set what the, the pump will compensate at in this case here the setting for the factory should always be 1000 psi there's some exceptions but don't worry about them yet they had it set to 2800 psi i don't think that this was the problem though because this is not a safety feature this is not going to stop the pump or the system from going above that all this is saying is is that at a certain pressure either 1000 or 2800 stop producing more flow let's say you're running a cylinder on there and then the pressure went on the cylinder that would increase the pressure in the whole system meaning that your pressure compensation your p max would would not do anything if they wanted it at a thousand psi or under that they probably had a relief valve set to 1200 or 1300 psi which means they would have never gotten to 2800 psi anyways we only put on 2800 because we asked it to produce that much but for the customer it probably never went there when i spoke to the customer on the phone i told them the likely culprit was this max volume stop it has to be adjusted when it's on the machine they need to turn this in to turn this from a 16 cc pump to a 12 cc pump thereby using you know 20 25 percent less torque from the electric motor this was indicative of them trying to fiddle with it but it likely was this max volume since when we inspected it we didn't see anything else that was going on and all that for a very simple piston pump but it just shows you you need to learn how to troubleshoot and the most important thing about troubleshooting is isolating the problem this is a pvp 16 which means it's a 16 cc pump and we're destroking it to 12 cc's by using this max volume stop this max volume stop works by physically pushing on a servo piston, which then restricts the maximum swash plate angle, which will reduce the maximum output flow of the pump itself. Now, why would someone want to destroke? Uh, there are several reasons. You could be looking to reduce the flow through a system, which would restrict the speed of an actuator or a motor, say running a conveyor belt. Also, you may be looking to protect your prime mover, which could be an electric motor or a diesel. By limiting the stroke, you're limiting the demand that this will take so you prevent from overloading it.